Jimmy Henderson lives on a farm with his father, his mother, his baby sister, and Grandpa Henderson. On the farm, there are tractors, plows, and all kinds of farm equipment. Also on the farm, there are cows to milk, chickens to feed, and pigs to take care of. But there are no horses. Which is really sad because Jimmy really loves horses. He even dreams about them. sees, coming up the path, a big black horse. Wow! Where did you come from? Boy, are you big. What are you doing here? I'll bet you're hungry. Come on, let's go to the barn and get some hay for you. Jimmy leads the horse to the barn where they pass Grandpa. Grandpa? Grandpa! Look what I found! Why, it's a shire! I used to have a team of them a long time ago. Really, Grandpa? Uh-huh. Hmm. Somebody must own him. Not many people let their horses roam around. Could I feed him and give him a place to stay until we find the owners? Sure. I'll ask your mother to check with the neighbors. Maybe they know something about this horse. Jimmy takes the Shire horse into the barn. He sets up an empty stall with fresh straw. Grandpa brings in some oats and water. Meanwhile, Mother calls around asking about the Shire. Yeah, a big black one. He's about the biggest horse I've ever seen. You know, Jimmy, this is no ordinary horse. The Shire is descended from the horses of King Arthur. In England, horses like this carried the knights into battle. Oh, I see why he's so special. Not only that, Jimmy, the Shire is the largest and hardest working of all the horses. And because of its sweet, gentle nature, its willingness to work, it is very easy to train. Wow! I never knew that. It's strange that he was all by himself. Maybe nobody wants him anymore. Gee, I sure hope we can keep him. The days pass quickly, and no one claims the lost Shire. Jimmy. He's very happy about that. In the afternoon, Father and Grandpa are putting up bales of hay in the barn. Little sister enjoys the warmth of a bright summer day on her blanket. While both men are busy at work, they don't notice the brakes have gotten loose on the hay wagon and it started to roll down the hill. Before anybody can stop it, the wagon picks up speed and races down the hill right towards little sister. Hey, the, the wagon, the, the baby! The Shire sees the danger and leaps into action. himself in front of the wagon and with his huge shoulders stops the wagon just inches from baby sister right in the nick of time my baby thank heavens you're safe just a few more inches and we would have lost her i don't know what we would have done if it wasn't for this super horse he sure is super hey that's it Let's name him Supershire. Supershire? Why, that's a perfect name. When he finishes his chores around the farm, Jimmy spends his time playing with Supershire. He pretends he's one of the king's bravest knights as he does battle with ferocious, fire-breathing dragons. Jimmy reads as much as he can about the gallant knights of old. He learned all about the armor the knights wore and he learned that the Shire Horse also wore armor. Grandpa, remember the time you told me about when you were a blacksmith? Yes, Jimmy. Well, I was wondering if it wouldn't be too much trouble. Do you think you could make 
Horse armor or super shire? <laughs> horse armor. I never made any horse armor before. It might be fun. Great. As the days go by, Grandpa works at the forge hammering out metal plates. Each piece is carefully fitted one by one on Super Shire. An old saddle is changed to look like one from the Middle Ages. Finally, the arm is completed and Grandpa places it on Super Shire piece by piece. He then leads the horse out of the barn to show all the family. Then, a strange and wondrous thing happens. Super Shire's armor starts to glow. And right before everyone's eyes, he seems to get bigger and stronger. His dance becomes regal and the whole family is amazed at the magical sight. What's happening? Why, he's the most beautiful horse I've ever seen. He's magnificent. It's like he popped right out of a history book. I, the brave knight, will conquer the evil dragon and save the village. But first, I'll need my trusty steed. Come on, Super Shire, let's play brave knight. Giddy up, Super Shire. Jimmy and Super Shire have a great time galloping around the farm. Charge! And then, amazing thing happens. Hey, what's going on? Super Shire's hooves leave the ground, and he rises up into the sky. It's magic. Super Shire is flying. Wow. just robbed the bank. Witnesses say the robbers were escaping north in a green sedan. License number P-38. Hey, that's the car. I don't see the police anywhere. And those crooks are getting away. I gotta do something. Hey, I know. Supershire could help. Let's go, Supershire. There they are. A little closer, we almost got them. Uh-oh. Now that we caught up to them, what do we do with them? Thinking fast, Super Shire swoops down and kicks the side of the getaway car. What the hell? Really, officer, a horse flew out of the sky and kicked our car right in the ditch. Yeah, right. And I suppose the money just happened to fly into your hands. Honest, officer, the horse flew. Yeah, yeah, save it for the judge. Flying horse. Nah, couldn't be. Hmm. The next morning at breakfast... I heard the police finally caught up with those bank robbers. The crooks came up with some crazy story about a flying horse kicking their car into a ditch. Imagine that. I heard Sheriff Watson say there were two hoof prints on the side of the car. Nonsense. Those crooks must have been seeing things. A flying horse. <laughs> Impossible. There isn't any such animal. Maybe, son. But I've seen stranger things in my time. Besides, those hoof prints are still a mystery. You know, boys and girls, that the reason Super Shire's armor is magical is because it was made by Grandpa with love. And love is the most powerful force in the universe. Well, boys and girls, that's the story of how Super Shire came to be and how the great horse met Jimmy. You can be sure that Jimmy and Super Shire will be fighting for justice and defending good people all over the world. So watch for future adventures of Super Shire, his magic armor, and his friend Jimmy. <laughs>